we're back, we're back, we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I was adjusting the uh, lows and mids on my mic, and uh, it really did it like that. It, OBS really did not like that I did that in the middle of the stream. <laughs> so it started to fuck with my mic. Sorry about that. Uh, we should be back to normal, though. So uh, just letting you know. Yep, don't worry about it. We're back. We're back. <laughs> we're all good. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, that's uh, that's what happened sometimes. OBS really did not like that I did that in the middle of the stream, so unfortunately, that happened. Uh, it is what it is though, so it's it's okay. Ahem. What the judge is saying is that right? You really shouldn't try pulling one of your usual bluffs here. If I mess this up, it'll be curtains for all of us. It will be curtains. It will very much be a curtains. Oh my god, the entire health bar? The entire damn health bar? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Let me save right here. Jesus Christ. Save slot. Save? Oh my god. You may now present one and only one piece of evidence. Now then, what is this important evidence that you must show to the court? Oh boy. Um... Well, uh... This? No, maybe? Okay, hold on. Let me see here. Oh man, oh man, man, oh man, oh man. Uh, the only thing that makes sense is the wine glass. And I saved. We're gonna do it. Ah! This, this is a wine glass, is it that? Please look at the photo of the crime scene one more time. Oh man. Okay, this scene is a mess because of the victim's struggle against his assailant. The vase was broken. His makeup was all over the floor. There were all these things that at one point they were sitting on top of the dresser. Hmm, well, yes, I see your point. However, this glass is sitting on top of the dresser mysteriously untouched. The only thing that had not fallen over of everything else is this wine glass. This piece of evidence is more strange and is more sh than strange enough to warrant a further consideration. Well, what do you all have to say? Uh, well, yes, it is a little peculiar. Yeah, isn't it? I, I thought it was. You can stop looking at me with those puppy dog eyes now. Mr. Edward, what is it, Your Honor? Your opinion. You don't need my opinion, because there is no special meaning to that glass. What? <laughs> Jesus. It's safe to say that the glass was set there after the crime took place. But the person who discovered the body, Adrian Andrews, for example, could have easily been so shocked that he set the glass down without thinking. Mm, that does sound very plausible, Mr. Wright. Can Miss Andrews really have set that glass down without thinking? No, there's no way. You would, like, drop it. If I appear weird here, trial is over. I can look for proof later. For now, to trust my instinct and point with certainty. They might just fall for it if you're thought-provoking enough. So true, Mia. The defense would like to challenge the prosecution's theory. We would like to see something that proved was Miss Andrews who set the cup on the table. Hmm, you've turned the situation on his head yet again, as usual. Mr. Edward, do you have any proof to back up your claim? There's no way he has any. He's just bluffing. Unlike Mr. Wright, I never say anything unless I have evidence to support it. What? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. You're not thinking hard enough today, right? Did you think this wine glass escaped my notice? Then, of course it had been thoroughly inspected. For fingerprints. Fingerprints? 
There were only one set of fingerprints left on this wine glass. Only one? Well, whose were they? They were not the victims nor the defendants. Rather, they were one of Adrian Andrews. What? <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. It's, it's her glass, yeah. That is why the person that, who had discovered the body... Oh, well, that's why I said that the person who had discovered the body had left it there. Are we done here, Mr. Wright? Ugh, I can't believe I fell into another trap. Miss Andrews was holding the glass when she went to see Mr. Corrida. Probably. But upon seeing his dead body, she was stunned and set the glass down on the dresser. Hmm... Well, I suppose what you just said makes a lot of sense. <laughs> now do you see, Mr. Wright? You can't change any part of my scenario as it explains everything all too well. <laughs> I've thought long and hard this past year about what it means to be a prosecutor. And from here on out, I will show you the answer that I've come to discover. Hey, wait a second, Mr. Edgeworth. I think the prosecution has provided more than enough evidence in order to enter my verdict. Unfortunately, I cannot allow you to pass judgment just yet. The prosecution has yet another witness we would like the court to hear from. Another witness? Yes. Bailiff, please bring in the next witness. What in the world is Mr. Edgeworth thinking? Hmm. He knows he's gonna lose. He's doing this on purpose. He's probably very well. T he's probably very well aware that uh, the defendant is innocent. He probably knows. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna put my dishes away and just grab some hydration. I shall be back in like a minute. I will return. Yes, yes. Bye bye. I return, and this time with sparkling lemonade, which, by the way, is so good. Highly recommend. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Also, by the way, I do want to mention, I know I said I was going to go back to raid at the end of the stream, but I realized that I already filled my quota for this stream. Um, like I, I told myself I was going to stream raid for like half hour. Uh, and I did. So tomorrow will be another half hour, and the day after that, another half hour. Yeah. I like carbonated drinks. That's totally fair. I understand. In which case, I recommend to you normal lemonade. Normal lemonade. Very nice as well. <laughs> now that witness, please state your name and occupation. Oh, this fucking lady. <laughs> witness, your name and occupation. Pl <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> I gotcha! Uh, I wonder what happened to that calm composure he had earlier. Yeah, Edgeworth and Phoenix both hate this lady. <laughs> I wonder if he, like, didn't know it was her. So funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, Edgy boy. It's been one a year since we last met, hasn't it? 
You should be very happy to see me. I saw the report of her testimony, but who knew who under that helmet? It was the wicked witch of the witness stand. I tell you, this is time I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. So today I'm going to tell you anything and everything. Even things that have nothing to do with the terrible crime. Miss Rivis, that terrible crime is all the court needs to know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shush! I'm talking to my dear edgy wedgie right now. Don't interrupt us, Gramps. Oh, yeah, yes, madam. No, 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 please, by all means, interrupt her, please. Edgeworth is desperate. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> witness your testimony, please. Uh, it's true that they say that you were all hot headed nowadays. Not that I mind at all, Edgy. Now then, what should I start with? The witness was on security detail at the hotel the night of the murder. Is this correct, Miss Oldbag? Oh, it was a great job being able to see my dearie, Han. It was always doing my little heart to handle. Uh, you mean, you're a fan of the victim? Oh, look, everyone's crazy for that on guard. Think he's cute in a fresh way or something. But not me. I want to say something so silly. After all, I had no interest in a little child like him. I'm only interested in a real man. Juan Corriba. Um, but those two were the same age. They are literally the same age. Anyway, as I was saying, I was pacing in front of his room that night. Very well. Please tell the court where you witnessed the night of the murder. Leave it to me, Edgy Boo. I hope you guys like her voice. <laughs> I made it as old lady annoying as possible. Anyway, after the ceremony, I went to pace around his room. There was something... Interest. I was very interested in finding out, you know. Well, since I was on the job, I made sure to keep a good eye out the whole time. That's when someone showed up. It was a man coming out of Four Juan's room. It was on guard. Matt on guard. He was trying to sneak his way out of Juan's room. That brat. She's so angry. Much angry. Much anger. Mm, so... Mr. On Guard came out of the victim's room. See, it has to be him. He's the murderer. Hmm, I see. Well, Mr. Ride, you may begin your cross-examination. Uh, too old people. Too many old people. Lesson. <laughs> Less old people, please. Okay. Ran in the hallway. Press. Yeah. Tell us, lady. Oh, it's not some little thing I can just go around telling everyone, you know. It's top secret between me and Juan. Ah, uh, and Edgy, of course. Mr. Edgeworth, what was his thing he was interested in? I have no idea. I despise gossip, your honor. Gossip? If this has something to do with the case, then you could append it to your testimony. It looks like we should enforce it right now. Hmm, I got to wait this day in the vicinity of the victim's door the entire time. Apparently so. <laughs> Quest. Who in the world was that? I'm not allowed to say. No, oh, this sort of information has to be very carefully guarded with a mask, Sonny. The man that came out of Juan's room. It was. He was. Yes, he was. <sighs> I'm too scared. I can't say it loud. Oh my god, girl, please. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to have Francisco's whip right about now. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I guess I could tell you since he was such a bad boy anyway. 
Oh my god. Oh, went the old bag. So annoying. It was on guard. Matt's on guard. He tried to take his way out of Ron's room. Okay. You saw my client? Are you sure about that? Yes, yeah, see. Really? An annoying brat when I say something when I saw that person. Yeah, bye bye. Please be careful because I know you ate oranges earlier. <laughs> Please. Why do I get a sense of deja vu? Oh, I'm going to have fun. I had fun too. Have a nice rest of your day, Diego. Chat say bye bye to Diego. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya, see ya. All right. Maybe to avoid a mess like last year, <laughs> I should jump into this a little bit further. Mm, person's clothes. Please tell the court about this man's clothes in more detail. Oh, what a troublesome young man you are. Really, I don't like that matters. But it does. Um, now what was it? Oh, yes, it was that thing. What thing? That god, he think he's always wearing that racing jacket. Ha, that's wrong. That's wrong, you idiot. That thing is meant for never but seducing women or their pantaloons. <laughs> Men. Um, right. So, Mr. Wright, was this testimony just now unimportant or relevant in any way? Very important. Of course it was important, Your Honor. Then perhaps we'd like to point out what part of that testimony was important. Don't you see it, Edgeworth? Your Honor, I request what the witness said about the jacket be appended to her testimony. Hmm, not a question where you're going with this, but all right. Witness, please. Uh, well, I like the bad mouth and it's without a reason, but if I must. Here we go. It's time. I gotta save just in case this is the wrong thing to present real quick. <laughs> Saving. <Objection>. Dumbass. <laughs> Miss Old Bag. What? Don't say my name for no reason. Do you know what this is? Ah, it's button number two. I jam into this costume. Now I know she's an obsessed fan. She identified it at a single glance. You give it here. You give it here. If you don't give it to me, I'll punish you with this. Oh, man. Wow. She really is a diehard fan to want a button covered in blood. This button was discovered on Mr. Ongar's body during a full body search. See, see, this button proves me on a son of a doubt was that rascal on guard. It was caught in the pleats of his nickel samurai Hakama pants. See, see, and on guard is a nickel samurai. Dumbass. <laughs> Witness. Now, it may just be me, and I do have an active imagination. But just now, didn't you just say the defendant, Matt on guard, was wearing his usual racing jacket? Ah, I'm so sorry. Starts to judge people based on what they wear. If I were to change his dress, you'd think maybe I'd be. But instead, I suppose it was a longer dress, wearing an outfit. What do you see? This is an idiot. I'm going to record a circle myself. Let me tell you, it's heavy. It's so heavy. I'm going to switch the CD series. I'm going to play the stream live for all the kids out there. I record my special behavior. Don't you understand? Don't you look at this mirror? Look at this dog mirror. Curly. It's a pretty good poodle. He's got style. <sighs> she talks way too much. I, I did my best, chat. I really did. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She just talks and talks and talks. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Now, hold your tongue still there for one second. It's what you saw in actuality. Was not Mr. Ungard the man? But Mr. Ungard, the nickel samurai? <laughs> Who knows what's happening at this point? Oh, but when you think about it. Oh, my God. They're really one of the same anyway. Miss Oldbag, this is very important. Oh, Edgy Boo, don't you think so too? Well, it might be something worth thinking about. 
and that worth something thinking about that thing worth thinking about will be something we explore next stream because right it's right around now that we usually wrap up uh thank you all very much for coming uh if you do not already know my stream schedule uh typically i stream today tomorrow and the day after tomorrow at 12 p.m eastern time so the same as today uh until the same time now so yeah um if you'd like to come next stream i'd really appreciate it if you follow it I'd appreciate it too and you know i don't know tell your friends about the stream if you'd like to and yeah i was sorry that the stream was occasionally very laggy my internet for the past few days has been dog shit because my internet provider they suck they're a bunch of assholes <laughs> so yeah anyway that will be the end of today's stream um we will be doing more raid and more ace attorney tomorrow and also the day after tomorrow most likely we'll be doing a little bit of hades if that's something you'll like to see um next week i should actually have hades 2 at my disposal maybe uh so yeah we'll see we'll see that that's a maybe right now that's a maybe right now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um also uh, i mean it kind of depends kind of depends i'm gonna put up a poll on my tiktok asking you guys whether you would rather me buy hades 2 or save up to edit down all the vods into youtube videos i'm gonna ask you guys that on my tiktok so yeah Anyway, that'll be the end of the stream. Thank you all so much for participating. And remember, if there's other people you want to invite to the raid thing, they have to click the affiliate link to be part of the goal thing. Letting you know. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you had such a good time. I definitely had a great time. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. See ya.